Hey everybody, what is going on is Klaus and thank you so much for tuning back in to our Town Hall 7 Let's Play. This is episode number 7 and it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video for the series and there, there's two really good reasons for that. The first reason is because I moved accounts, um, or I moved clans from the Boston Tea Party to the Knights of Zion. And the Knights of Zion is my fan clan and um, Jasper, my second account, the one we're playing on, is the leader. So we've actually got a full clan. Well, we're, we're, we're a couple spots short right now, but we've got a full clan. But if you want to be in the clan with me, uh, following along with me, um, be very, very sure to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter, ha Twitter handle, uh, I can't talk today, I'm sorry, is uh, Klaus underscore media, I believe. And the link for that is in the description below. But anyway, guys, a lot has happened on this base. I honestly was very, very lazy for a long time on this account, but we're getting into it. I've been barching non-stop. I mean, uh, I, did, I did a lot of barch, guys. And um, one problem with barch is that it's not that great for Dark Elixir. So I'm still 800 Dark Elixir short from getting the Barbarian King. But there's several things that we can do first. I've almost gotten all of my walls to level 6. I did a whole nother line without you guys. So today we're going to be maxing out all those walls. It's 3 million... 225,000 gold and I've got plenty of gold for that but let's look at what's changed on the progress base first of all it's a little more organized and I've gotten three out of four of my barracks maxed out for Town Hall 7 it's extremely important guys to max out your barracks as a Town Hall 7 because of dragons um, got the dark barracks maxed out as well so I finally have my um, my hogs they're level one they need to be upgraded but there's no way um, actually I don't even know if they, they get an upgrade I think they do they do, yeah. 20,000 Dark Elixir. <sighs> Getting Dark Elixir to Tunnel 7 is terrible, so I don't know about that. But anyway, so um, the uh, I've got an air defense maxed out, three cannons maxed out, and a lot of my um, my traps, and actually my spring traps were maxed. They were level 1 until the update dropped, and so now I've still got to do the spring traps. But there's still a lot left to do on the base, a lot of walls, a lot of Dark Elixir stuff. Uh, Town Hall 7 is a brutal, brutal Town Hall, guys. It's hard to find any loot. It's hard to find Dark Elixir, but that's what we're going to be trying to do today. But I've already got max storages, so let's go ahead and do these walls, guys. This is going to max out our base as far as pink walls are concerned, and then we get to get level 7 walls, I believe, and that will be maxed for Town Hall 7. It's a ton of, ton of gold, but it's totally worth it. So... Without further ado, guys, we got 3,225,000 gold to spend in 3, 2, 1, BAM! Oh, crap. That was anticlimactic. Let's try that again. <laughs> in 3, 2, 1, BAM! Nice, nice. Let's go back to my regular base. This is the same base. Nothing has changed. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. That's looking a heck of a lot better. And now, each and every uh, level for uh, going to... From pink to purple walls, level 7 walls, is 200,000 gold, which is ridiculous. But anyway, so let's go back to the progress base. I have, um, let me see. I've got two builders to build. So what I've been doing is I just click the builder's logo and do the cheapest upgrades first. Because generally, they're also the fastest, and it's going to increase the strength of your base fastest. So I've got 687,000 gold. I am curious about this. Air defense is over a million, so I don't have enough for that. But we are going to do this mortar. 400,000 gold, and I don't know if that's maxed or not. I, th I don't think it is. No, it's not It's not going to be maxed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start this in 3, 2, 1. Bam! Come on. There we go. I've been, I've been terrible lately. But anyway, I'm going to leave him right there because he's not going to be maxed yet. So why move him if we have this list right here, right? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the laboratory. Since last episode, I did my wall breakers and I did my healers. The balloons and wizards are still available, and I only did those because they were cheaper, I think. And then um, I haven't touched the spells, and I've got the minions and the hogs. So not a whole lot has changed between this video and last video, which, like I said, was about a month ago. But I just started the dragons today. I wanted to do it in the video, but I couldn't because I maxed out my elixir. And I, the, the only other thing I need to do for elixir is a barrack. So I didn't want to interfere with my barch with by, by taking out a barrack, you know what I mean? So that's why that's already started, and it literally started just over an hour ago. So uh, 
Do the dragons as soon as you can, guys. Town Hall 7 is notorious for the Mass Dragon Raid and also the uh, the Hogs. Level 2 Hogs is absolutely essential, and we'll be doing that as soon as we can. But I've got to upgrade this Dark Elixir storage. But anyway, guys, I've been rambling about what's going on and what I'm going to do and doing a few upgrades for nearly six minutes. So we need to go out and do a few raids, and I've got Barch trained up right now. I didn't know I had Barch trained up. But what I do have preparing or ready is the Goblin Knife. You guys have seen it on my Town Hall 9 accounts. I'm going to try to do the Goblin Knife to get Dark Elixir in this video. I'm hoping it doesn't take too long for us to get 800 Dark Elixir. So I'm going to go use this Barch Army. And then we're going to do a couple of Goblin Knife attacks and see if it works. Because if it works like it does for Town Hall 9, that will be my absolute recommended army for getting Dark Elixirs at Town Hall 7. So... I will be right back. Okay, so here's a Town Hall 7. It's got 678 Dark Elixir, which is pretty good. Back, you know, for a Town Hall 7 base, it's pretty sweet. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to uh, find an entry point that will be easiest. All of the uh, mortars are awake. What we have to do is we have to get into the core from the outside wall. So let's... Uh, Let's see, let's, uh, I think it'd be easiest to send the goblins in if we come at it from a side that has no, because the goblins are going to go toward the elixir collectors and the mines, so there are none on the outside of the bases, it's going to drive the goblins inside once we clear it out. So let's drop the giants here, wait until the wizard tower targets them, and then drop a few wall breakers, and then drop our archers behind to hopefully create that funnel. As soon as we get a funnel going, I'm actually going to send in... Oh man, there's a clan castle of wizards. I'm going to go ahead and heal down on the on the uh, the giants there. And I've got actually some wizards in my clan castle, so we're going to play tit for tat and uh, tear each other up. So now what I want to do is I want them to go into the core. So let's see what they're going to aim. Well, we got a dark elixir in the, uh, the drill. That's a good start. Except the only problem... Okay, now we can rage... And we're going to drop all of our goblins in, and they're going to go straight for that Dark Elixir storage, guys. They got it so fast, they didn't even know it hit them. That guy, it's a Dalen 03, I'm sorry, but you didn't know it hit you, man. Like, those goblins wrecked. Unfortunately, we didn't uh, prioritize the Town Hall, so we did lose the raid, and we didn't get a whole lot of loot. But the Dark Elixir was solid, guys. So, we're going to do that again. 564 Dark Elixir. It's really hard to get Dark Elixirs at 10 7. That's a really good grab, in my opinion. So, uh, we're going to train up the same army, and we're going to try it again. Okay, guys, here is a higher level 10 7 with a ton of loot in this base. And if we can attack it the same way we attacked the other one, then we're going to be well into the amount of loot that we needed. This one's got 1,400 Dark Elixir. Which is ridiculous for a Tunnel 7. I'm kind of shocked, actually, that I found this. But uh, it's like a max Tunnel 7. He's got a level 5 king and everything. So uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to send our uh, giants on either side of our entry point, which is right in front of that wizard tower. Uh, so there they go there. Hopefully there's no clan castle this time. That was bad luck. And then we'll send in our archers. There we go. I'm also going to drop a few of our uh, goblins to clear up the corners of all of the... Uh, all of the uh, buildings that are going to draw the goblins. So let's uh, actually shouldn't have dropped that. Shouldn't have dropped those got those uh, wall breakers. Anyway, so now what I'd like to do is I'm going to drop my rage, and I'm going to send then those goblins straight. And watch how quickly they're going to melt that storage. Look at that. Now they're going to melt. I'm going to drop that wall break for fun. They're going to melt through all that elixir like nothing. Of course, once they get shot by a mortar, they're dead. But anyway, that was legit. I could have dropped another heal and kept them alive. But it really wasn't worth doing. I mean, I got all the loot. I, I got I got what I came for, guys. This was a huge grab for Tunnel 7 as far as Dark Elixir is concerned. Well over a thousand Dark Elixir. Which makes me think maybe my standards are a little low. <laughs> but uh, either way, guys, that is the Goblin Knife for a Town Hall 7. Um, I think what I'll do is a quick guide for the Goblin Knife at the Town Hall 7 because, like, not, not in this video, but in a future video because I feel like that may be the most effective way to sneak in and take the Dark Elixir at a low cost of standard Elixir. But anyway, guys, I know I only did two raids today, but that's really all I have time for. We've got a ton of loot to spend, and I think the main thing we need to spend it on 
is the Barbarian King. So let's go back to my standard base because I know where he needs to go here. Let's collect our loot. Boom. All right. And then we need to get this builder set out of here. I don't know where I want to put him. I guess right here will work. And then the Barbarian King. This is his throne at the top of the base. So we'll go into army. The Barbarian King, guys. 10,000 Dark Elixir. Oh, it took so long to farm up that so much Dark Elixir. And then it takes zero seconds to do. So we can do it instantly and then start another project. So here we go. Barbarian King in... Oh, look at him roar. That was, that was cute. Okay, ready. We're going to do the Barbarian King in three, two, one. Bam! Yeah! All right, guys. That is the best. I'm super stoked. We got the Barbarian King, our first hero on the Jasper account, just in time for war, actually. We have a war starting tonight, so pretty excited about that. But anyway, so what else do we want to do, guys? Let's go back to the progress base. I'm going to have to put down... Oh, no. I got to edit. I got to put the king down somewhere. He's definitely not maxed, so I'll go ahead and just set him right there. Save that, and then we'll go in and set this as active, and there we go. So I've got another um, goblin knife training up. What I'll do, actually, is I'm going to show y'all the, um, like the composition in my barracks for that, because I feel like that's really important. So we'll do four, four, not three, but four. Four giants in each barrack. You've got to have your tanks, and I think four in each barrack gives you 16. It's totally worth it, and it's very useful. Then we're going to do two... Uh, wall breakers in each as well. Sometimes you don't need that many, but it's good to have extra. And then the next thing we're going to do is the archers. Now, it's a weird number. It's hard to remember, but it's 29. We do 29 archers because of the time. Uh, we want uh, the, the barracks between the archers and the goblins to be similar. So we got 29 in our first barrack, and then we're going to do 25 goblins in each of the other barracks. That is going to give us our total of 200 troops. I went I went over. My bad. And um, that's going to give us 200 total troops. And this is a beast strategy, guys. I love it. It's amazing. It's my favorite strategy in all Dark Elixir farming for any town hall level. The Goblin Knife. Now, this is a, the 200 troop, um, uh, 200 troop composition. And I think Town Hall 8 is also 200 troops. So... You can do this with your Town Hall 8 if you want to, or if you're a Town Hall 6, you could probably do it as well. So, um, anyway guys, like I said, four uh, giants with each barrack, two wall breakers, and 29 archers in the first barrack. The same giants and wall breakers for the rest of the barracks, and then 25 goblins in each as well. So, anyway. Oh yeah, and uh, spells. So I, I like to do uh, heal, rage, heal. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you the ability to heal something else. If you need your giants healed or you need your goblins healed again, it's just a very versatile and very powerful Town Hall 7 Dark Elixir grabbing army. So, now that we've done all that and we've rambled and rambled in this video, it's probably going to be extremely long and I apologize for that. Um, now we need to spend this loot. But, that's not all the loot we've got. My treasury has 475,000 gold and elixir in it. So let's collect that. That's just awesome, man. That is awesome. So we got a lot of elixir, a lot of gold. We got a million gold, guys. What's the first thing we want to do today? We got all of our builders. We got a cannon finishing in a few hours, but let's let's spend our gold on walls. I think that's a cool idea because I'm going to be starting this barrack, my final barrack that needs to go to um, dragon level, basically, level 9. So that'll be the last. That's 1.5 million elixir, and I'm fine with having excess, excess elixir. Right now, we need to upgrade this wall to level 7. And actually, I can do 5 of them, so that's 5. I, th I believe that was correct. Select all. There we go. 1 million gold on level 7 walls in 3, 2, 1. Bam! Yeah! All right, guys. We are on our way to maxing out our walls as a Town Hall 7. Pretty exciting and looking forward to... Uh, Finally being done with Town Hall 7 just because it is such a struggle and once again guys for those of you that you know You have you have a builder you have gold you need to spend it You don't know what to spend it on just click that builder button and it'll give you recommendations the cheapest stuff Of course if you've got a lot of gold you need to do your your um, air defenses because dragons are going to wreck you if you don't Which is actually probably something I should have done but anyway so next thing is next guys We're gonna do this barrack it is 1.5 million elixir which means I'm gonna have 2 million elixir left over over, which is totally cool. I'm okay with that. We get a lot of elixir buildings to upgrade, you know, dark elixir and dark elixir storage and drill. 
and then uh, laboratory upgrades and that's gonna be it so anyway let's do this 1.5 million I'm gonna break my boost so that's okay in three two one BAM boom baby that's exciting guys I'm excited because I hate barracks upgrades so I like to do them as soon as I can but anyway guys that's it for today's video like the video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't joined the Klaus family today was amazing because we got a barbarian king we got our dragon going in the laboratory which is good news because that means we'll be more viable in war and um, next video I hope to be working toward upgrading my dark elixir storage and then upgrading my uh, hogs in the um, in the laboratory, but we might not be able to do that first. We'll likely do the um, the wizards or the balloons next. I don't use balloons much as a Town Hall Seven, so I'll probably go with the wizards next. And uh, yeah, so that's it for today's let's play of Town Hall Seven. Thank you once again for watching, and I love each and every one of you. I'll see you next time. Peace.